firestorm of controversy swirling around the death of 28 year old African American woman. Officials say Sandra Bland was found hanging in her Texas jail cell three days after being arrested during a traffic stop on her way to a brand new job. A coroner's report, though, deems her death a suicide. Her family is adamantly protesting that. But then this Facebook video surface. Uh, surface that may raise some reasonable doubt to her family's contention in it. The self-described social activist describes her emotions over the recent clashes between African Americans and local police. Watch this. I am suffering from something that some of you all may be dealing with right now. It's a little bit of depression as well as PTSD. Hmm. Let's bring in Robert Bianchi, a criminal defense attorney, former prosecutor. Keisha Heaven is also a defense attorney and former prosecutor. Good to have you both. Good to be here. All right, Bob, uh, the family says it's nonsense. She'd never kill herself. She wasn't depressed. And then all of a sudden, that video surfaces. I think this is going to be a very difficult uh, piece of a video, hearsay evidence to get out during the course of a trial. Although, and I understand what the family is saying, it's a really tragic case. It's really putting a spotlight on the fact that there were certain jail procedures that were not followed by having her checked up. Right. And people that are in her condition, persons who probably have not been arrested before, I don't believe she's been arrested before. They're in shock, good they're lives. upset, they're depressed. These are the people you really need to look out for in a jail context because they see their whole life unraveling. They're not habituated to the jail environment and they really should should have done a better job at making sure that they were monitoring her, not just hitting yeah. a microphone and saying, are you okay? All right, Keisha, does that video that we just saw support uh, the conclusion by the medical examiner that this was suicide? In other words, support the police officer's story that they didn't do anything wrong? I would say it doesn't. And the reason why I say that is because there's several things that raise question in my mind. One, there's a videotape of her having an injury of the head by the police officer who re arrested her. And then also there's been some racial tension in this community amongst law enforcement and African Americans. And not to say that that means this right. happened, but there's a problem that, you know, just because there's a video of her saying she was depressed, I don't think she would wait until she went to jail right. to kill herself. Look, we're looking at the videotape right now. Um, do you want to play the one, let's play the one with the sound. Uh, take a look at this. All right, the Texas Department of Public Safety now says, quote, we have identified violations of the department's procedures regarding traffic stops and courtesy policy. Uh, so in other words, cops did something wrong right. right there. And if they did something wrong there, maybe they did something wrong inside the jail, Bob. Uh, these are wildly not connected things. The fact that they did something, quote unquote, against the policy or procedure on the street, she was okay when she left. She was okay when she went to the jail for three days. The prosecutor, and having been a former head county prosecutor, you are not gonna be able to bring charges against these officers, the troopers, unless you wanna file charges for official misconduct or abuse of power for having violated a criminal rule or procedure. And that'll be up to the district attorney if they wanna go but that I, far. I disagree with Bob, because there's going to be a credibility issue here. And right. no, you can't use these facts to prosecute these officers. But the fact that they did something wrong indicates to me that how far did they go in terms of was this injury the cause of her death? Was the, the, the autopsy, you know, misled? And there was also a case of someone else who had a run in with the police there. And he was alleged to have killed himself in the jail cell. Yeah, it's right. just too, it's, it's just too But empty. that's the problem there. The fact is, is that we have no facts to suggest that she was injured and that was the, at the scene and that was the cause of it. We have to look well, at the well, investigation, certainly. we haven't seen certainly. the dash cam video. That video we just shaw, showed, I believe, is an individual, a third person who simply was there and began taking the video. Uh, you know, police have been reluctant to release the dash cam video. I believe they're going to have to do that Absolutely. pretty soon. Now, uh, Keisha, if the dash cam video shows that she did not assault a police officer, and that's what cops are saying, they arrest her, saying she resisted arrest, she assaulted a police officer, if the videotape shows the officer is lying there, 
what then? That's definitely going to support this family's position that there was misconduct and the police or the law enforcement officers were the cause of her death. Why? I mean, she was pulled over for not using a, a signal to change lanes. There is no reason why she should even be in a county jail. Now, I understand they're saying she assaulted the police officers, but a death should not have resulted. And I seriously doubt that she killed herself. And as Bob stated, the jail has procedures to prevent things yeah. like this from happening. They're supposed to do checks, rounds. They're supposed to assess a new inmate to see if they have any psychological problems. And if she was depressed or suicidal, she should have been placed on suicide watch. And that makes a great civil case, and it could potentially be a criminal case if there was an official misconduct charge. It's time that prosecutors start looking at actions, especially in the jail. It's the yeah. underbelly of the criminal world where people are not being, things are not being done according to procedure yeah. because irrespective of what the cops did at the scene or not, I agree completely. This woman, should, what is she doing in jail for three days on a traffic violation? Right. This is happening repeatedly. It was part of the Ferguson review by the FBI. Why wasn't she able to make bail? The, why isn't she being looked at psychiatrically? The bottom line is she's in custody of the police or the law enforcement community and she needs to be protected even from yeah. herself. Right. Well, well, uh, in some holding sale, cell jails, they have video cams and they come in handy uh, and they're very important. Um, they apparently didn't have one in this one and one wishes they did. Um, Bob, Keisha, good to see you. Yeah. Good to see Thanks you very much. All right, Chili